the lesson, you are expected to identify Gini impurity, follow the step-by-step -step process of calculating Gini impurity, and appreciate the use of Gini impurity in a decision tree algorithm. We have four ways of splitting our nodes, and today what we will have is the third way of splitting our nodes. What we will have this time is what we call the Gini impurity. Just like the former two, Gini impurity performs in a binary split and it only works in categorical targets. I believe at this point, we don't need to talk about what a categorical target is. Gini impurity is actually the most popular because it is the easiest method of splitting a decision tree. So what then is the Gini impurity value? So your Gini impurity value can be computed using this formula. So we have 1 minus gain. Gain here anyway is also what we call the Gini. So with this thing being said, maybe you would want to ask me, what is then a Gini? So Gini can be best explained using the following terms. We do have a randomly chosen element. So for a certain set of values which are categorical, the elements are randomly chosen and apart from being randomly chosen they are also randomly labeled and the labeling is actually based on the distribution of labels in the node so for example we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and so on and so forth so each point is a randomly chosen element and each one of them is also randomly labeled say for example this can be labeled as A, this one can be labeled as B, and this one is labeled as A, this one is randomly labeled as B. So now the question is this, is each one of them correctly labeled as A or B? This kind of question is very significant, and for us to be able to identify the correctness of labeling, we are going now to compute for the genie, which is the probability of correctly labeling each one of them. So that is genie. And the way to compute a genie is this. So we have the summation of the squared probability of each element, which is the element i. And to compute for the genie impurity, we have 1 minus the summation of the squared probability of each element. So what then would be the interpretation of the outcome? Just like the former two that we have already studied, when we say Gini impurity and the outcome is lower, it means that there is a higher homogeneity of the different elements in a certain node. And when the outcome of our calculation is zero, it means that our node is very pure. And so for us to be able to properly understand how we compute this Gini impurity, we're going to do the computation. And if you could still remember the scenario wherein we identify the tendency of having a good weather and a bad weather. So we have 30 days that we have observed. So we have here two splits to decide upon. We have the split on humidity and we have the split on temperature which are our variables to be considered whether or not there would be a bad or a good wither. And so what we will do is we're going first to identify which between humidity and temperature would be the first split that we are going to. So remember that for both of them, of course, we do have 30 days. And for a split on humidity, we do have high humidity and low humidity. And for high humidity, we have 16 days and the probability of high is 0.75 and that of low is 0.25 and for this part which is the low humidity we only have 14 days the probability of high is only 0.29 and that of low is only 0.71 and after this humidity later on what we are going to have for the computation is the split on the temperature and also here in this case we are considering 30 days we have here two splits we have hot and also we do have gold so for hot temperature 
we have 20 days for that and the probability of high temperature or hot temperature is 0.9 and that of cold temperature is 0.1 and here for the cold temperature we have just 10 days and the probability of having high temperature for these 10 days is 0.2 and that of cold weather is 0.8 so now we're going to go to the calculation first we're going to have the split on humidity and so guys in this case we should not forget the process we don't have to forget this one because this is actually very important so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to identify the Gini impurity of high humidity and then once again we are dealing with the split on humidity so remember that we have 0.75 for the high humidity and 0.25 for the low humidity so basically what we do here is we just plug in the different values that we have seen in this case to the formula we have in here right so then what we have as a result is 0 0.375 and for the low humidity we also follow the same process and we are plugging in the values that we could see in here and then we have this result 0 0.4118 and with these two values what we're going to do next is we're going to get or calculate the weighted gene impurity for both of them because we have 16 days for high humidity what we will do is we're going to multiply 16 over 30 which is the total number of days times 0 0.375 then plus this one to this one to so 14 over 30 times 0 0.4118 and then we get 0 0.392 this is the result of the Gini impurity for the split on humidity and now we will go to the split on temperature this remember that in the split on temperature we have two nodes we have the hot days and we have the cold days again we plug in the values we got in this case to our formula and so we get 0 0.18 and for the cold days the values we have found in this case are plugged in the values or the formula we have for the Gini impurity and this will result to 0 0.32 and the next thing to do is to calculate the weighted gene impurity of these two nodes. So we have 20 over 30 because we have 20 days for the hot days times 0 0.18 plus 10 because we have 10 days for the cold days. And we multiply this to 0 0.32 and then we get 0 0.23. For us to decide which one between the split on temperature or the temperature and humidity will be first used for the splitting what we will do is we're going to compare this value to this value in this case so we have 0.392 and 0.23 so we have said that the lower gene impurity means that there is a more homogeneous node so between 0.23 and 0 0.392 0 0.23 is lower so this means that the split on temperature is more homogeneous than this split so basically we're going to use first temperature as our first variable to be split what is this for why do we have to study this Gini impurity is preferred to information gain the reason is that it is because it is simpler to compute unlike the latter or the information gain in which it contains a lot of logarithms which are computationally intensive also it is easier to implement after all being said and done let's try this what is Gini impurity how do we identify which node to split using Gini impurity please don't forget to write your answers in the comment down below so that we would be able to have a very rich interaction of ideas and we can learn from each other do you want to know more about this channel let's click these cards we do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials deep learning mathematics and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free